reluctant about uh, communication settings. And uh, when we talking about communication, what's your first? What's the first thing comes to your mind? Here, talking with my parents on cell phone. Oh, yeah, that's right. This whole picture is the 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 real the core story. Uh, story behind when you are talking on the phone, and imagine this is uh, this is you, and on the other side there's uh, your friends called Leo, and so how do we transform your message from this input to into this machine? So in computer science, we use uh, bits to transform your message on these machines. Hi, what is bits? Okay, so. The bits uh, to give you a really simple idea. So we can imagine we have uh, A, 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 and B, 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 B. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So imagine there are eight bits. So, so, so we can easily observe that we can represent this idea into four A and four B. So instead of using eight bits to represent your message, we can use just one, two, three, four. There are only four bits, and they are they both represent the same idea uh, to this message. So in this way, we can um, transform a message more efficient into this machine. So we can uh, keep using these channels to um, really easily communicate with your friends. So after that, you will. Pass your four bits uh, into this encode, this block called encoder, and then and then will become seven bits to come into the channels. And so the encoder is just uh, um, the name that you 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 don't have to know for now. Then we will just pass into the channels. So uh, the idea why this become the seven bits is because of some. Idea related to, to error correct, correction, uh, but we will not discuss for now. Okay, so let's begin to explain why well, what is channels. So, what's your first impression for channel? No light, black, and can see nothing. Yeah, that's right. So basically, the channel is full of uncertainty. So. This the communication setting is basically we have to uh, how to design this channel to let both sides to, to communicate well. So so there's a simple problem. Well, what do you think this will be? Uh, seven bits. Yeah. So this is seven bits. So you can see that the both sides they are really symmetric. So this is seven bits. Seven bits. So. This is four bits, so uh, so you can see this is also four bits too. And at the end of the this process, you will see we can recover your uh, true message from going through this process, and then will become eight bits as well. Hi, I have a question about encoder part. Why we need to transforming four bits into four bits, like seven bits? Before we send our signal through the channel, so the one why we have to do that is because the channels is the full of uncertainty. So we need to need we need more information to to give to give to this channel so we can decode these channels uh, very good and they can have no anything wrong. Uh, uh, when we're going through this whole process, so we are going to uh, design a simple game so you can have more um, get to more understanding about this whole process. So let's begin. Hi. So this is our game part session. So what we're going to do is like uh, I'm going to transmit a message. So I use the bliss pictures to represent my message. So what are you, what you are going to do is recover message um, on your side and then we have to see uh, if we were matched uh, on both sides so that's our how we transform our message uh, successfully when our picture is matched yes it is easy i can do that uh, 
Yeah, so you did a really good job. So, um, so, uh, so right now our channel is really clear. There's not anything between us. So, so if we have there's uh, an, something between us, so we call this the block. So right now there's a block in our channel. So how you can communicate when in this kind of situations? I can see nothing right now. Okay, so right now you can see you can't see anything on my side. So for so I will have a, a second prop question. I will make a new figures and you have to follow my instru instru instructions. And I'm going just to talking to you and you have to follow my instruction and then recover. Let's see you can recover um, the same message on my side. So okay, so let's begin. It's challenging. So okay, so right now you can see that we cannot see each other right. for this for this kind of situation. Right. So when I giving instruction, uh, the other side cannot see what I'm doing right now. So basically, I have to talk into him to to help it recover the message from my side. So okay, let's begin. So you can see you, so for the first piece, you can put the uh, yellow triangle on the very top. Triangle. And then, and the red rectangle below this, and the two small orange squares uh, also below it. And the semi circle below it. Below it. And uh, so for the last piece, uh, there's a uh, pink circle at the very bottom. Right. Okay, done. Okay, so now we're done. You can move that back away. Okay. <gasps> I did something wrong. Yeah, so that's how uh, the real situation when the uh, communication uh, happening in the real world. So the channel is full of, full of uncertainty in the real world communication. So we have to add more information into this channel before we communicate. So what do you think of that? Yeah, I did some errors. So oh, so that's why we need error correction in order to perform some error correction part in the communicate setting. Yeah, you are right. So, uh, so do you know why we need uh, add more? We have to add more bits into this channel. Yeah, I think because it is very hard to communicate during communication, so we need uh, more bits, more information to communicate to uh, the other side because the other side can see uh, nothing when we are communicating. So we need to speak more, pay more effort. So I think in the real setting, we need, that's why in the real setting, we also need more bits. Yeah, great. So this is what we are going to talk about in this outreach activity. So thank you for watching and bye.